Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Make Up. Uh, it's time for another favourites and I was actually surprised at how quick this favourites came around. I didn't actually realise how later, late in the month it was. Um, and I'm still really, really nasally. I have been an absolute write off with a really, really bad cold all week. Like it's actually day seven of me having this cold and it's not actually flu, it's just a cold but I must have been really, really run down because um, it really hit me hard and I was like even bedridden for a couple of days and like, all the drugs in the world was not helping, were not helping, so um, I'm still trying to kick it, but I was in the mood for wearing makeup, so that's what I'm doing today. And of course, we had to get this video filmed as well. So speaking of my germs, this has definitely been my first favourite of the month, and it is the um, La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. It's a soothing repairing balm, and I have just been using this around my nose. Um, geez, I sound so nasally. <laughs> Anyhow, I have been using this around my nose because yeah, just because it's so dry and so kind of cracked and sore from blowing my nose so much. But this is such great stuff. I think this is the second uh, pack or second tube I've had at this now. I also have just finished the lips version of this, which is in my empties bag. Love it. And um, I have the Cicaplast hands as well. So this is such a brilliant balm, but you can use this for everything. Like before I had the one for the hands and the lips, I used to use this for everything, like for my hands and my lips and stuff like that. So this is such a great multi-use product. Um, I know it's loads of people's favorites and holy grail, but it's such a great product to have, particularly if you are feeling a little bit um, under the weather. And um, yeah, great multi-use product and it's nowhere near as drying as Pseudocream. So I actually much prefer this. So yeah, that's the first favorite of this month. Then my next favourite for this month is this guy here by Pixie. It is their Lengthy Fibre Mascara. This was sent to me um, along with a couple of skincare bits, but I've been using this much more than the skincare bits. Um, even though I do like them, I just haven't tried them out enough. This is such a lovely mascara. It's the one I'm wearing today, and it is um, it, probably one of the best fibre mascaras I've ever used. So the fibres go on really really smoothly. I've had other fibre mascaras in the past where literally the fibre could be sticking any which way direction and it was really hard to get them nice and smooth and have them actually integrate in with your own lashes um, quite seamlessly and look natural. This does just that. It's very fibery. Like when you take the brush out of the out of the tube it, there's a lot of product on there so you'd be worried that it would clump up but it just doesn't it's actually a really really lovely formula and um this is pretty much the only mascara i've been using all month now i don't actually use this on my bottom lashes just because um a it makes them a bit too long and it rubs against the bottom and b um you do have more of a chance of a few of the fibers coming loose and actually falling down onto the lower onto your uh, lower eye area so I have actually only been keeping this for the upper um, lash line, but lovely mascara. So if you can get your hands on these, do. I know there's a pixie shop in London, um, possibly more. I only know of the one, but you can get the stuff online. Anyhow, really, really lovely mascara. And um, yeah, definitely have been thoroughly enjoying that. Next, I have a couple of foundations to show you. So um, I did try a couple of new foundations this month, um, actually about four or five altogether. And easily my two favourite were, first of all I'll start with the really cheap one and I already did a full video on this so I'm not going to spend long talking about this but um, like I did a whole video on loads of new Catrice stuff but this is the Catrice Even Skin Tone Beautifying Foundation. It's what I've on today along with another foundation but it's the base that I, the main base I've on today. Um, I'm 005 Even Ivory and I love this because A, the colour is so bang on but it's just such a lovely foundation for the price. Like I said, I'm not going to bang on about it because I showed this in um, an, an actual dedicated video for loads of new Catrice stuff and I'm pretty sure I showed it in the ship stash as well but I'll link to that Catrice video below if you're interested in that because there was loads of other nice Catrice stuff um, that I got as well but this definitely was a standout for me and I'm always on the lookout for really really high quality but inexpensive foundations and this is it so definitely give this a go if um, you like kind of light to medium coverage foundations that just even out your skin tone and kind of beautify the skin without making it look too heavy or too makeup-y this is the one to go for so definitely recommend that I think they're around 8 euro here in Ireland and um, yeah that's the Catrice Even Skin Tone Beautifying Foundation my second foundation for the month, um, favourite foundation for the month, is this guy by uh, number 7 and it's the Airbrush Away Foundation. Love this. I've been really dying to try it. I got this, um, it was, came out the same week that the new MAC Waterway Foundation came out. And I have to say I'm adoring the MAC Waterway Foundation but I haven't actually bought it yet. I just got a few samples. This I bought um, and I wasn't sure how similar they would be. 
They're very, very similar, but there are a few differences. This, I think, isn't quite as fluid as the MAC Waterweight. This has a little bit more substance to it. It has a little bit more coverage as well. Um, I was really happy that the lightest color calico was such a good match for me because I have calico in a couple of the other number seven foundations and it's the lightest, like the palest foundation that they do. It is kind of a slightly grayish tone foundation, which can be good as long as it's the right kind of shade of lightness and in the other foundations that I have which is um Stay Perfect and the Stay Perfect Super Light which I really really love but the calico in those foundations is ever so slightly too dark um like it's darker than my neck once it's on whereas this one isn't this one actually lightens up to match my neck which I'm so delighted with such a lovely foundation it's described as a foundation that blurs fine lines and pores for a velvety smooth skin um it does contain oil which some people mightn't like you know I don't mind oil. I think it can actually even be quite beneficial to people with oily skin as long as you're not looking at maybe a mineral oil or something that actually looks a little bit oily on the skin. It is silicone based but it contains oils. Um, just a really really lovely foundation. Definitely worth trying again if you're not looking for the most coverage. You can tell with my favourite foundations I don't like anything too heavy. This again is a nice price point. Number seven is one of those like brands that it's a little bit more higher end than the regular drugstore stuff but it's not quite uber like luxury it's somewhere in between say the drugstore and maybe mac or like mm, smashbox or something like that even though i think the quality is lovely but you're paying around 20 something euro 22 euro or so for the foundation so quite affordable but not obviously as cheap as other uh, drugstore foundations really really enjoyed this and i do quite like the dropper um i was worried it'd be very messy but you get the hang of it very very quickly i mean you literally just Pot, put on the back of your hand. I was worried that putting it back into the bottle might be messy, but it's not. So um, yeah, really, really nice foundation and I quite like the bottle. So those are my two favorite foundations for the month. Next, I'm gonna move on to the product I'm wearing now. Cause like I said, I haven't been wearing a lot of makeup all month, but this, um, I only received this like last week and it's my third time wearing it, but I love it. It's such a lovely um, product and you would expect it to be for what it is. So it's the YSL, um, Rouge Pour Couture lipstick. So I think this is like uh, in an already existing range within the brand. There is 48, I think, lipsticks available. I don't know, I just did a blog post on it yesterday, so you can check that out. I'll link to that below, or um, I did that on Monday as you're watching this. But this is the most beautiful orange tone. It's what I'm wearing today on my lips. Orange toned red. It's just that beautiful, juicy, um, yeah, just orange red. It's so gorgeous. But the reason I love it is, especially um, <clears throat> having been coughing and spluttering so much all throughout the, the week. As I was saying, my nose was quite dry, but my lips just shriveled up. Again, it's probably from coughing so much. And then I was a bit concerned about putting any lipstick on my lips because they were already so dry, but this is so beyond like moisturizing and so comfortable on the lips. It's such a lovely formula. It just sits on them without feeling like there's anything on your lips. It doesn't feel like heavy or oily or anything like that, but it's definitely really, really comfortable on the lips. And it does feel like it's given quite a good bit of moisture, um, but it's so pigment heavy. Because I find a lot of the time with the very, very moisturizing lipsticks you get in drugstores, they tend not to be as pigment heavy as you'd like. Um, sometimes a little bit more sheer or sometimes more translucent than you'd like. Whereas this goes on really, really opaque and really beautifully because I'm wearing this without any primer and without any lip liner. I wore this yesterday as well and it lasted perfectly throughout the day. Um, so really, really impressed with this. This was sent to me and it is um, 33 euro, I think is what you'd spend on it here in Ireland. And I don't know like all the different places you can get YSL makeup in Ireland, but um, Brown Thomas is where I normally go. But yeah, really, really like this. And I have only uh, tried like foundations and concealers from the brand before which I like but that's my first time ever trying one of their lipsticks and I was blown away so really really impressed by that. I got a bit worried there just for a sec as I was going to get this that did I show this in last month's favourites but I was just checking over my notes and I don't think I did but anyhow this guy here is the Oral B Braun um, electrical toothbrush. I got this in my local uh, grocery store because it was half price so <laughs> I got it for like 26 euro and it was down from 52 or 53 euro so um, it's one that I was kind of looking at for a while and I'd been kind of looking in or hoping, not looking into getting, but hoping, mm, no, let's say, I was thinking about getting a um, electrical toothbrush for quite a while because I suppose, um, I've mentioned before, especially when it comes to like wiping my teeth and stuff like that, I am... Um, since I got my braces off, I had braces for anyone here who's new, um, quite later on in life, I only got them taken off um, 
nearly two years ago, it was at Christmas, not last year, but the year before. Um, so I was 30 when I had my braces on and I paid for them all myself, of course. So that's a lot of money. I think it was like three and a half grand, two and a half grand, three and a half grand. God, it was a lot of money anyhow. And um, <clears throat> ever since getting my braces off, because I've never been happy with my teeth. I'm not, not even 100% happy with my teeth now, but I just wanted to treat them as like well as possible. And you know, that's why I wanted to get them whitened and like just keep them as clean and everything as possible. God, that's a long-winded way of introducing this. But anyhow, I eventually got this um, Braun Oral-B toothbrush and I um, go for the heads that are the 3D white one. I actually use the 3D white toothpaste as well, but this is not sponsored, I promise. Um, so <clears throat> these guys are, I think it's 12 euro, because I just picked these up yesterday, 12 euro something for the two heads. And I can't remember how, how often it says to change them. <coughs> I think it says you have to change them quite often, but of course they're gonna say that because they want you to buy as many of them as possible. But anyhow, I've been loving this. It has a timer, so after you've been like brushing your teeth for two minutes, it um it, the pulse kind of changes, so you know that that's long enough because it says that that's what they suggest is two minutes. I sometimes go over a little bit, but um your mouth feels really, really clean after those two minutes. Um, it's your regular kind of loud. Yeah, so it's your regular kind of loud enough. Um, electrical toothbrush but I just feel anyhow long story short that my teeth are so much cleaner since I've been using it I also re recently just picked up some of those like tiny little dental brushes for between your um <clears throat> for between your teeth because I have a permanent brace on the back of each of mine um on my top teeth and bottom teeth so it means that I can't floss normally and um I kind of hadn't been doing anything for a while and when I went in to get my teeth whitened the girl in the clinic was like you probably should do something she said it's not actually that bad but there's a little bit of a build up just at the back where I should be floss flossing so I picked up those dental brushes and um my teeth were bleeding so bad when I first used them but now after a couple of weeks of using them um it's getting a little bit used to them but yeah I just want to kind of spend more time or be a bit be a bit more mindful of my dental health and I think this helps so yeah that's the oral B brawn um electrical toothbrush and then my last favorite for the month is this blend active uh, smoothie maker or it's more just a blender it's not really called a smoothie maker but again i bought this myself i got this up in home store and more in um galway i think it costs like 40 euro and i have heard other people talking about this i think it started like on youtube i think they did a big um push for it on YouTube with their advertising and stuff like that but basically I was looking at the Nutri Bullet which costs a bomb but I've been like I've, I've mentioned before how I'm a really picky eater which probably um contributes to me getting such a bad cold and stuff like that I'm a very very poor eater there's a lot of foods I won't eat I don't like vegetables um and that's pretty much across the board I like red onions and peppers that's about it and I don't even like to taste them I only like them in sauces anyhow I'm not going to go into that here but I do struggle sometimes with eating healthily I tend to eat the best the, the, way, the way I describe it is I eat like a 12 year old boy and um so a lot of processed stuff I like my waffles and my chips and my <clears throat> my chicken nuggets and all that kind of stuff and sausages um so I sometimes have to work a little bit harder to make sure that I'm eating healthily and trying to eat as many good things as possible. So while I don't like vegetables, I um, do like a lot of fruit, and there's a lot of fruit I don't like, but I like a lot of the regular fruit. Um, it's the tropical one, I kind of don't like the tropical fruits, but I um, used to love making smoothies. Anyhow, again, I'm going a really long-winded way of saying that um, smoothies for me is definitely a good alternative to um, eating crap. So I know some people think that smoothies aren't great because they're so high in sugar and all that, but believe me, for compared to my normal diet, it's definitely a good step or a step in the right direction. And um, for me, like the you know, this wouldn't be just extra onto my day because I know they say that if you're adding smoothie onto your regular um, like daily diet, that it's adding tons and tons of calories. But I tend to get quite full up from eating smoothies. Um, I try to put in. Uh, bananas because I know that they're like really good in fiber. I love the taste of fiber as well I think or of bananas. I think that they kind of help cancel out the um, acidity of uh, This like of the of the like, strong taste. What am I trying to say? The strong taste of like berries because I tend to put in um like foresty berries Not foresty berries just like you know blueberries and um, cranberries and strawberries and all those kind of things and blackcurrants and then I like bananas and um, <clears throat> What else do I like? 
they're the main ones that I like but I've also started adding in a bit of spinach and for me that was massive because I was so worried I'd taste it that I'd just think it was horrible blah 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 but I couldn't taste it and now it might just be I'm like it's not that I'm only putting in one or two or one or two leaves I'm actually putting in quite a lot but I read somewhere uh, recently that spinach is one of those things that you don't really taste very um very much in smoothies so I'm actually very proud of myself for doing that so I just feel like it's a really good step in the right direction for me and this um, 40 euro blender is the bomb because it's like you don't even have to clean it you blend in what you're drinking which is so so handy so um yeah, look it up yourselves it's just really really handy it's the best like of these kind of smoothies makers that I've ever had and I've had like more expensive ones in the past and this is definitely the way forward so really really enjoying this one and now let's move on to my only fail well my only like really really notable fail for the month and that is this whitening um, thingy-majiggy from White with Style. Now there's a bit of a backstory to this. So I um, got my teeth whitened in a clinic this month in, in the, oh God, what's it called? The White House Whitening Clinic in Galway. Um, I was asked in for a free treatment and I did a whole blog post on it and it was quite, um, I wasn't sponsored. So I um, went in, had my teeth whitened. I liked that it was bleach free. There was no peroxide or anything like that. Zero sensitivity, which was true. And uh, this is the results. Like they're quite, they're lighter than what they were. They're not bling and bling and white like you would, um, like, you know, I kind of look at some people who have like the whitest teeth in the whole world and I'm just like, oh my God. But like, they still lightened up a lot and I was really, really happy with the results. Um, <clears throat> and then this crowd through, I think, oh, I can't remember the name of the, comp of the website, but they asked me if um, I'd be interested in doing a sponsored post with them. And these are a crowd that um, their whitening is like peroxide based or bleach based. So initially what I was going to do was I was going to get whitened in the clinic and my little sister was going to use this and then we'd compare notes and see what the story was and I was going to be paid um, money just to mention this in a video, 150 euro. So I thought that was quite a good deal. Now obviously I'd only take the money and mention it if it was a good outcome and it turns out it wasn't. So in the end my little sister decided she didn't want to go down the bleach route because she was worried about sensitivity and that's fine I'm so glad now that she didn't because um, I decided to give it a go. And I was going to just compare the results against the in clinic whitening and you know the non bleach and that. And um, anyhow, long story short, I did made up the trays, I popped it in my mouth, I put the bleach in, and I didn't even use as much as they suggested. Like I tried to use as little as possible. I was really careful not to get it on the teeth or not to get as much of the um, of the gel on my gums as possible. Popped it in, and then you're supposed to leave it in for half an hour. And um, within a couple of seconds of putting this on my teeth. Obviously, when you put the shield or the gum shield up on your teeth, and um, some of the gel, no matter how careful you are, will get up onto your gums. And it says just to use the vitamin E um, stuff, vitamin E, there's little vitamin E sticks that come with this, to use that to get rid of any of the excess gel. So I did that initially, but it wasn't helping, and my, t my gums were felt like they were on fire. But not only that, when I looked in the mirror, um, they turned white and then they started to blister and I was like oh crap oh crap oh crap oh crap so it got so like I only kept it on for literally about 10 seconds and I was like oh my god this is like like it wasn't even just uncomfortable it started to get quite painful and burning so I took it off straight away and then <clears throat> took out the, the shield and rinsed out my mouth and I was left with white blisters on my all over my gums now they didn't last very very long they were kind of gone within maybe two to three minutes because I kept uh, washing up my mouth with water and then I kind of tried to brush my teeth get rid of any of the excess and stuff like that but I just have never had such an adverse reaction to any kind of whitening gel in the past I have used um peroxide based products in the past like I've used the crest whitening strips and I had a gel from my dentist that was that could take peroxide back um years ago and I've never had any kind of um any kind of such a bad reaction so I um, of course had to email the crowd and I was like listen I've had a really really bad reaction and um, I definitely won't be able to recommend this to my followers and um, you know I won't be able to go ahead with the mention or anything like that and um, all I got back in return was thank you that was it and I went into detail trying to tell them what happened just so that maybe they could figure out if it was like because I was trying to say how I'm not overly sensitive like my teeth and stuff like that but anyhow whatever I had a really really bad reaction to this so I definitely wouldn't recommend that and um, <clears throat> yeah that's the end of this video sorry it's a bit rambly I think I'm just out of practice from being like useless all month or all week oh see I'm not even thinking right but anyhow thanks a million for stopping by guys I'll be back on Friday as usual with my um 
next Halloween video. Hopefully I won't be late because I know I was late last week just from being quite unwell and I wasn't able to keep up <coughs> with the schedule. So um, hopefully everything will be on time this week and if not it'll be on Saturday but let's just assume it'll be on time and on Friday. So I'll just see you then guys. Thanks a million for watching and I'll chat to you soon. Slán.